Hey everyone, Christopher Rocchio here of Sun Eater back with another monthly update video. A little bit late this time. Uh, apologies for that uh, and an explanation in uh, in just a minute. But before I get into the uh, update proper, I wanted to say we're doing something a little bit special uh, with this update video uh, because I received a very generous gift uh, from one of you, and, uh, a reader, Sean, thank you, uh, send me a copy of this, uh, which of course is the hardcover of uh, Demon in White. Uh, and we're going to be doing a little bit of a giveaway here on the channel to be entered to win. All you need to do is like this video uh, and kindly leave a comment down in the comment section um, saying who your favorite character in Sun Year is and why. I will be picking my favorite answer uh, and, uh, and and uh, sending this book to that person. So um, and I'll do that. I will pick the winner uh, a week from today. Uh, whenever today is, whenever this video finally goes out. Because, of course, um, we are uh, very late uh, in the month of May, very late to be doing an update video. The truth is I actually recorded a Sunday update back on May 2nd. It is currently, um, as I'm recording it, it's the 15th. You'll probably see it on the 16th or the 17th, uh, which I think is about as late as it's ever uh, ever been. There's no rule that it has to be right at the beginning of the month, but um, but uh, the things have gotten a little bit away from me between one thing and another. Uh, what happened was, is I went and recorded uh, the update on the 2nd. I uh, was going to edit it on the 3rd and post it, but I think that was right around the time uh, the dog told me they were reprinting the uh, the hardcover of Empire of Silence, and uh, I uh, suddenly found that my update video was uh, worthless and needed to be redone, and then uh, we had some other uh, things come up, some other problems, and um, the month has sort of uh, gotten away from me. This has been a this has been a tough month. This has been a uh, this has been a bit, bit of a mess. Um, if you haven't seen the Diamond Edition, uh, was uh, was delayed. It was delivered to me uh, unsaleable. Uh, it was uh, pretty perfectly misprinted. So we are reprinting that now, which is, uh, as you can imagine, has been uh, a uh, uh, just a delight. But there is, you know, of course, some good news. We're uh, about a month, month and a half out now from the release of Disquiet Gods. Um, after, of course, the release of Disquiet Gods. And uh, everybody seems to be really uh, liking it, with a couple marginal exceptions. Uh, but uh, but it seems like uh, Disquiet Gods is in the contention uh, for everybody's, uh, in contention for uh, everybody's favorite Sun Eater book. So that's great. Uh, I'm really, really glad that you all have been uh, enjoying, enjoying the new novel. Really glad that everybody's been uh, been checking it out. And uh, it's been fun uh, sort of reading everybody's reactions and reviews and theories. Everything's been overwhelmingly positive, which is uh, which is encouraging. And uh, Queen of Mid-Ashes finally uh, got its remaster put out. It was supposed to be out a couple months ago, but um, we had uh, just quite gods coming. And so it, uh, it needed to get pushed back because I didn't want to be uh, competing with myself. Um, but in case you missed the memo, Queen Amid Ashes is out in a new standalone edition. Um, it's got a new cover by John Barry Balleran and has been sort of recopy edited, retype set. It is now up to the standard of uh, the Dregs of Empire, and it is available as a singleton for the first time ever in hardcover. So if you missed that, um, a link to that as well as to Disquiet Gods will be down in the description. So that's uh, that's sort of the uh, the good news out of the way. Uh, where am I on writing? This is where the bad news starts to creep in. I'm about 45%, 50% done with Shadows Upon Time, um, but I've had to uh, take a bit of a pause working on that because um, there have been a bunch of other projects that are sort of uh, coming due. As many of you know, I'm working on three different special edition uh, imprints of the series. Um, this was uh, originally intended to sort of remedy the fact that the books were not available in hardcover. Of course, Daw went and made uh, Empire of Silence available in hardcover again, which is wonderful. Uh, never thought that we would see the day. It's just great that that happened. Um, and you can order a hardcover copy of Empire of Silence right now if you would like to get one. Um, they are on Amazon. They are available wherever books are sold very, very soon. I believe they will be available at Quail Ridge Books. So if you want to order a signed copy, uh, stay tuned. I'll be doing a special video for that as soon as we can. Um, see if we can uh, you know, sell, uh, sell a few more. Uh, I know folks have been wanting that hardcover for a very, very long time. Um, but I had set out to make these special editions to sort of ameliorate, at least for a few hundred, a couple thousand of you, the fact that there weren't standard hardcovers available. Now we just have three uh, special editions that I am working on all at the same time. We're working on Howling Dark for the Diamond Edition, uh, getting that developed. The cover should be in very, very soon. Uh, I'm working on the uh, the backup story for that, which is a Genon point of view story called Falling Angels. Um, I've outlined that. I'm planning to start it later this week. I'm working on Empire of Silence for Andorita books, um, which I learned I've been saying wrong all these years. And Rob never corrected me. I'm working on a Polino story for that uh, called The Devil You Know. That's almost done. But I was just getting to this place where I like could not think about book seven anymore. It was, it was getting... Um, Book seven is a lot of responsibility, and I needed to take a break and recalibrate and kind of clear the decks a little bit because the sort of constant ambient stress 
of having all of these other projects in development. Um, because, of course, there's also the uh, the Broken Binding edition we're working on, not just Empire of Silence, but Howling Dark and Demon in White simultaneously. And uh, I've been doing art direction for all three of these at once. Um, and then we come to learn, as I mentioned earlier, that the Diamond editions arrive misprinted. If you uh, are on the Kickstarter, you probably already heard the news. But basically what happened was they introduced about a quarter inch of white space on the inside of each page. So everything in the book got pushed about a quarter of an inch out towards the margins, which meant that the um, that every page just looked bad. Um, the text wasn't lined up properly. The pictures were all cropped. They got literally cut off and there was like a strip of, of negative space on the inside and the books just had to be returned. So um, they are, they're getting recycled. They're being pulped and, uh, and reprinted. We hope to have a uh, new printing um, uh, this summer. Uh, they said by July we should have we should have the books, uh, and they should be um, on their way. As you can imagine, this is causing me no end of uh, uh, pain. Let's say I uh, these books are already five months late, uh, thanks to delays uh, from the artists and um, uh, and then from uh, Brandon Sanderson eating all of our paper, which is a real that's really what happened. Brandon Sanderson ate my homework, and uh, we use the same printer and the same paper stock, so it, it, a bit of a bit of a nightmare. But yeah, so um, they are working on reprinting that. I'm working on the second one of that, and we've got two other special editions going on. I'm working on short stories in order to sort of uh, uh, clear my, clear the decks, like I said, so that I can get back to book seven, um, hopefully in June. I'm finishing this Polino story. I'm writing this Genon story. And I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger on writing the uh, bonus story for Tales of the Sun Eater uh, Volume 4. That'll be out later this year but i want to make sure it's all set to go and since i'm taking a pause to write short stories um i thought i would go ahead and get that in now so that i can work on that later um because uh james cook who does the art for the diamond edition is also going to be working on a new cover for tales of the sun in volume two um relatively soon we're gonna go ahead and get the jump on that so the volume two can go ahead and get updated um and then uh james will go back to working on the hell and dark diamond edition after that and then uh, John Barry Balloran is working on the interiors for Howling Dark. He's finished two of them already. This is for the Diamond Edition. And um, then uh, when he's done with that, he will work on the Lesser Devil new cover because we're going to remaster the Lesser Devil as well. Make sure all my independent, uh, independently published stuff is uh, sort of updated um, and uh, has got new look. Um, that's been sort of a B project for for the year, um, and that's uh, that's been moving along. Um, you know, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty well. And, uh, and so I, I've been sort of pulled in about 87 different directions in the last month and, uh, hopefully be able to clear the decks, get these stories out of the way, get these special editions ready to roll. Hopefully just, uh, be able to get back to, get back to book seven. Um, because I just, I wasn't able to, uh, wasn't able to focus on it adequately, um, not to the level it deserved. And I reached a good place to pause right around chapter 36 six or so of 78. So just a little bit short of the halfway mark and um, have been, uh, you know, carefully, carefully uh, plugging away on these other things ever since. I'm very pleased with this Polino story um, to put sort of a positive spin here on things again. It is uh, really coming together. And it is so much easier to write Polino than it is to write Hadrian. Uh, it has been, it's been really fun, actually. Uh, that's been a really fun story. I'm looking forward to doing the Genon one as well. And the uh, the Tales Four story because there will be there will be a Tales of Sun Year Volume Four uh, surprise I don't know if people uh, expected that or not it is not a trilogy I'm going to keep writing stories so um, that'll be sort of an ongoing thing um, that'll be out like late this year because there are stories in it that I I can't legally reprint yet and I need a little more time because the contracts on the stories don't run up for a few months but um, but I'm getting it ready um, so that it will be ready when uh, when I can. Um, so you'll see that before the end of the year, part of the road to book seven, so to speak. That uh, that about does it uh, for now. I just want to remind everybody, if you would like to enter to win this copy uh, of Demon and White in hardcover, uh, absolutely free, like the video, leave a comment down below, tell me who your favorite Sun Eater character is and why. I will pick my favorite answer, and uh, I will uh, reach out to that person a week from the day this video posts, and uh, the book will be yours. Uh, and so until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay well.